Hey there. What's going on? Come on in. Welcome to our bus. Hey. Hey. Oh. Oh. My name is B Rock. I'm J Pat. And we are the, the Knox. Knox. And uh, welcome, welcome to our bus. Welcome to the Route bus. 55 tour. Our bus. Our this is our. Bus. This is our first headline tour, U.S. and Canada. It's our first own tour bus. Yeah, ever. And as you see, we're taking advantage of the space. It's cool. It's like we've always kind of dreamt of having a tour bus. We've always we've toured in minivans. We've toured in. 15, 15 passengers. passengers. We've, we've been, been on tour been buses other people's with other buses. people. Yeah. We've never had our own, so like we kind of are owning it, as you can see right now. These are our Chinatown representatives. So obviously one of the main things on a bus are the TVs. We have two. They show the same thing, so if you're yeah. sitting on either side, you can see. I think we might be able to get them to show different things. We haven't figured it out yet. Yeah, it's kind of complicated, the TVs. It's a little complicated, the whole thing. Trying to figure out. And it's like, you got to really play with it. And right now, we're watching the news because our hometown, New York City, is getting hit with a crazy blizzard. So yeah. we're just watching and laughing at everyone else while we're in Chicago, which is not much warmer, but it's no snow. So. We got the sound system up here. Dolby joint, <laughs> where we bust, you know, we, rap tunes. Yeah, after the show, after we, the we show. plug in and play music really loud in here. I'm sure we're gonna blow the speakers by now. But yeah, this is like the loud area after the show. We kind of come in and kind of party a little bit. Um, yeah, we got some DVDs here, <laughs> some games, you know what I'm saying? We came up, me, Zelda, da da da, da da da. We got more in here we got too. More. And got kicks. This is the best. Neither Roxbury, Blaze of Glory, Zoolander, and Semi Pro, all in one. Yeah, the best ones are the are the, the package ones where you get a bunch. Uh, but we also have the HDMI. You can plug in your laptop and watch whatever. And the Wi-Fi is popping. The Wi-Fi. Yeah, Wi-Fi works. We don't really end up playing video games. We didn't put a system in here because a, we don't really end up having time that much downtime to play video games. We're either sleeping, kind of chilling. Oh, yeah, let me show you the rest of the kicks because you know your man got kicks for days. Jordans. Got some 11s here, some fives, some fours, some eights. <laughs> Everyone else on the bus loves that we take up drawers for shoes. It's our first tour bus, man. One of the best parts of this bus is that it's a slider, yeah, which means nice. this can slide out about three it feet. It Sounds small, floor. but it, yeah, it really feels huge when it does that. We can't do it right now because we're in the middle of the street in Chicago and cars would run into it and we, that would not be good. When it does happen, you can imagine it's literally like three more feet. So it's like, it feels like you're in a living room. It literally feels like our apartments in New York City. And this expands, yeah. it's like the size of my first apartment in New York. Oh yeah, we had it expanded in Toronto last night. And we had Yeah, we had a full dance party going on in here. Bunch we were riding the, the hoverboard around like assholes. Really, this, this is our kitchen. It's the kitchen. See, we got the marble finish. Mar it's Martha popping. Stewart. It's popping. Water is a funny thing when you're in Canada. We weren't using it because it's frozen. It freezes, and they can't get more water because all the places that you get water from are frozen. So you end up wash brushing your teeth with bottled water. Bottled water, which is your best friend. Which was also frozen. I woke up one night and like then hit the water drawer, and out of the water was frozen. So yeah. So we get up. bottles of water from the venue and end up using that. So our manager us. puts this up. This is basically like what, what press doing. we have to do. Yeah. What time is load in? Sound check. Bus call. Bus call means you have to be on the bus by that time, and if you're not, you're gonna get left. We're in Chicago, so the bus calls 6 a.m. That means we're gonna be out partying really late tonight. <laughs> this is something we just added, which is a Polaroid from every show. As you see, it's early in the tour. We're gonna tour for a little bit, but six shows total. We take a Polaroid at every show, and we put them up here with this guy, the Lomography. Um, and here is the trusty beer drawer, which always gets filled up before and after every show. Yeah. We put ice in it, and that's uh, our best friend. Love beer. Over Usually we keep the booze in here, but I think we drank it all last Yeah, we just, no, we just came back from Canada and they make oh, yeah, you empty out all your food. booze before the morning. This is the Keurig, which many of you may know. Instant coffee, best friend when you're waking up, uh, hungover or not. We got them up here, pop it in, and you have a coffee. Not the best coffee, you know, Keurig. Right. It's, it's not, you know, right. it's not artisanal or whatever the hell. But it wakes me up in the morning, so it's good. Fridge, we got a lot of cold cuts. Cold, yeah, cuts. cold cuts are your best friend. Rider. Juice, Gatorade, some water, you know what I'm saying? I think we have sriracha in there because sriracha is and the cold cuts king like of condiments. yeah the cold cuts like you eat sometimes sometimes you just kind of sit there cold cuts it's are more like cold. when you're drunk and tired yeah. at the end of the night you just kind of roll up a piece like of ham and sandwich. that's that's your late night food hey, we um, have a microwave which I didn't realize we had yeah I just noticed just I didn't know we had a microwave I had no idea we had a microwave we don't microwave anything really. this is our little makeshift studio zone uh, while we're on tour we try to make music as much as possible again it's easier said than done. Uh, hence us not playing video games, we're trying to be productive and not just play video games all day. So here I got this little travel pack I bring with me everywhere, which is kind of loaded up with shit and unloaded here. And you know, a little MIDI controller, hard drives, USB thing, and we can actually plug into the system, which is cool, and blast, you know, check stuff. But we're literally always working on stuff, checking mixes, sending parts out, 
which is handy to have the Wi-Fi and handy to have outlets. And we used to try to make stuff on the road when we were in like a minivan. It just like wasn't. You're on there. It's just like you can't even. You know, your hard drives unplugging every two seconds. This is actually really nice to set up. And nowadays, you know, you can record a whole song on your laptop. So it's sweet. It's a luxurious bathroom. <laughs> bathroom. I just love marble finish. <laughs> yeah. It's marble. Everything. You know, they really did it with the marble in this thing. You know, not much to it. It's a bathroom. It's a bathroom. The main thing no is solids. no solids to the toilet. That's no kind solids. of the tour bus rule. <laughs> and if you do, it's like a $500 fine because they literally have to clean it out themselves, which is gross. You know, there's a whole like technique to how you how you use the bathroom here. It's nice to have a bathroom. You it's kind of tough to use the bathroom when the bus is moving. <laughs> yes, <laughs> not that easy. Uh, we also keep all of our cleaning supplies in the bathroom. Yes. We're going to make our way to the bunks now, it's where really we all sweet. sleep. There are 12 of us on this bunk right, and in this bus right now, which is crazy. We have two opening bands that are sharing the bus with us. Sophie Tucker and Carl the Nuts. Yeah, so pretty self-explanatory. You know, you throw some stuff in there. You can turn, you got your little light you guy. Outlets. You got, this is the best part is that you got a TV, which actually connects to the satellite or whatever anyone's watching up front. And it's also, you can have a little, it has a little camera where you can watch the front of the bus, which is kind of cool in the middle yeah. of the night. You can like see where the bus is going. The design flaw is though, because you're not supposed to sleep with your head facing the way you're driving, just in case you stop, you might break your neck, you know? The outlets are on on where your feet are supposed to be, so unless you have a really long charger cable. I have one by cable, my head, I don't know about you. No, mine, see mine. I got the deluxe. Mine's at my feet, mine's on this side. So when I have a, luckily I bought a really long one because I've been in this situation before, but I got tour bus outlets. knowledge, if you if you have one that where your the, the outlets are by your feet, you need a long charger cable, obviously, otherwise you'll be able to use your phone at night. These things I have hanging right here are earplugs which is super handy for sleeping, just like shuts out everything. I sleep like a baby in these things. I actually sleep better in a bunk than I do like at my apartment. It's, it's like you're in a, in a coffin being rocked to sleep every night. What up, about to check out the back lounge, the vibe room. This is where we chill out after the show, before the show. Some weirdness goes down. Vibey. It keeps Weird. it vibey, fam. That's the Chinatown cat that we bring with us everywhere because you know, our studio's in Chinatown, New York City. We gotta rep. The candles are never not lit. They're <laughs> always lit. Our tour manager really bus. loves it that we have candles lit on the bus. It's really safe. And they smell really good. But this is where we hang out a lot, like kind of post-show, chill. It's Pikachu doll. It's like homie. But in the back, uh, it's kind of like after a show, a lot of time, a lot of the crew is up front, kind of chilling, talking, whether they're eating and drinking. Back here, it's more like maybe we're smoking a little something, drinking hanging out with some girls. It's like less people, quiet, because up front, we're playing music really loud like really loud. Our front is like the club and then <laughs> the back here is like the VIP like back area like we try to keep maybe like a bouncer at the door sometimes. <laughs> yeah. We got security. Yeah. Last night we left a show and everyone was blasting music up and I've been on stage with in-ear monitors for a fucking hour and a half and the last thing I want to hear is like ratchet rap music really loud. So come back here, light the candles, hang out with the cat and Pikachu, we'll talk about things. Yeah. Get deep. We are the Knox from New York City. Thank you, Bus Invaders, for coming. Now we're gonna get ready for our show. Uh, sorry, you don't gotta go home, but you gotta get the hell up out of here.